Hi and welcome to Visual Basic Tutorial of Text to Speech and the most important part of all is how to stop the text from reading. Now let's paste the following text. You click on play. To make your document look professionally produced, word provide header, footer, okay. cover page. Now if and we click on stop, that there we go. You can see Stappy has just been stopped. Now play. To make your document look professionally produced, word provide header, footer, and cover stop. page, and so what I'm going to do now is to take you guys straight into Visual Basic Development Environment and we'll put one of these together. Let's do that now guys. Hi and welcome to Visual Basic Tutorial of how to stop SAPI from reading the text and that is to do with converting text to speech. It's actually at the request of one of my viewers out there. I'm going to start by clicking on create new project and it's select visual basic select windows forms application and right here i'm going to give this project a name i will call it vb underscore sapi underscore stop click on ok come to the tools here and i will add two buttons okay that's one and add another one here then we need a text box or we can also use rich text box right enter the rich text box there and here the text box let's select it all and increase the font size and let's make that bold and we enter maybe about 14 or let's say 16 there and this one will be let's say we just say play and stop so in here come in here change the properties of this one bt and play and in here let's enter play here this is going to be stop bt and stop right okay Alright, that's about the same size, I believe. Yeah, that's good enough. Alright, the next thing we want to do is double click on, let's say we double click on play, and right in here, the first thing I'm going to do is to declare as follows SAPI. So, SAPI actually stands for Speech Application Program Interface. Speech Application Program Interface. And right here on this very first button, double click on that, and in there, I will enter SAPI equals. We want you to create object. There we go. And SAPI, enter SAPI in that very parenthesis dot SP voice. Okay, there. And we then come down here and say, Sapi dot so what method you want it to speak and what you want me to speak you want you to read out whatever we have in here okay inside the text box let's change that to st read okay rt read that's the name of this rich text box come back in here paste the rich text box in there dot text okay if we leave it like this sappy will just read a non-stop so let's say comma one so that is it this very one we actually stop it all right if we double click on the second one to stop it all we just need to say is happy dot pause and that's all the rest of it so if i run my program now let's look for some text content to add to it Okay, let's run it and you guys see what I'm talking about. And I'm going to enter this text in there. Please, Happy. Video provides a powerful way to help you prove your point. When you click online video, you can paste in the embed and code for the video you want happen. to add. And we you click can on also stop. type a keyword. There, there we go. You see that? Play. Video provides a powerful way to help you prove your point. Stop. 
and play. Video provides a powerful way to help you prove your point. When you click online video, you can paste in the embed code for the video you want to add. And that is how you create you create your own program to play and also stop sappy from reading. So with that, I'm going to call it the end of the program. I suppose you guys enjoyed. You all have a nice day now. Bye for now.